Hello everyone! Welcome again to my channel. This time we're going to learn about types of polynomial function. But before that, let us look back first with some mathematical terms like leading term, leading coefficient, degree of the polynomial, and a constant term of a polynomial function. By the way, you may refer to my previous video regarding the definitions of these terms. Now, given f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 8 plus 7x cubed plus 5x, this is an example of a polynomial function. But observe the polynomial. It is not written in descending powers of x, or it's not written in standard form. If we rearrange the order, or we rewrite this in standard form, this is equal to f of x is equal to 7x cubed plus 3x squared plus 5x minus 8. In this function, the leading term is 7x cubed, the leading coefficient is 7, the degree of the polynomial is 3, and the constant term is negative 8. By the way, I have provided several examples on my previous videos regarding this kind of problem. I have placed the link on the description back for you to find it easily. Now, let's proceed to our topic, the types of polynomial functions. Here are some common types of polynomial functions. Constant function, linear function, quadratic function, cubic function, and quartic function. What makes it different from each other? Let us have some examples. Given p of x is equal to 3, this is a constant function. Why? Because a constant function is of the form p of x is equal to ax raised to 0. Observe, the highest power of the variable x is 0. And by the way, p of x is equal to 3 is the same as p of x is equal to 3x raised to 0. What makes 3 is equal to 3x raised to 0? Note that x raised to 0 is equal to 1. So, 3x raised to 0 is equal to 3 times 1, and that is equal to 3. Here is an example of the graph of a constant function. It is a horizontal line. Next, p of x is equal to x plus 2. This is a linear function. A linear function is in the form of p of x is equal to ax plus b, where a and b are numbers, but a should not be equal to 0. In our example, the value of a is equal to 1, and the value of b is equal to 2. It is a linear function because the highest power of the variable x is 1. Here is again an example of a graph of a linear function. It is a straight line also. P of x is equal to 3 plus 4x squared minus 10x. Is it written in standard form? No. So let us rewrite this in standard form. And this is equal to P of x is equal to 4x squared minus 10x plus 3. What is the degree of the polynomial? Its degree is 2. That makes it a quadratic function. It is in the form of p of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, c again are numbers, but a should not be equal to zero. This is also the so-called second-degree polynomial. Now, again, here is an example of a graph of a quadratic function. It is called a parabola. Next, p of x is equal to 2x plus 6x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1. This is a cubic function. A cubic function is of the form p of x is equal to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. Again, the variables a, b, c, d here are numbers but a should not be equal to 0. In our given, if we rewrite this in descending powers of x or in standard form, this is equal to p of x is equal to 6x cubed 
plus 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. And the value of a is 6, the value of b is 3, c is 2, and d is negative 1. This is also called a third degree polynomial or the highest power of the variable x is 3. Here is again an example of a graph of a cubic function. Another example of a polynomial function is p of x is equal to 5x raised to 4 plus 3x squared minus 8. This is a quartic function. It is in the form of p of x is equal to ax raised to 4 plus bx cubed plus cx squared plus dx plus e. Take note again, a, b, c, d, e are numbers and a should not be equal to 0. In our example, the value of a is equal to 5, b is equal to 0, c is equal to 3, d is equal to 0, and e is equal to negative 8. This is also called a fourth degree polynomial because the highest power of the variable x is 4. Now, what do you think is the graph of a quartic function? Here is an example. Now, let us perform some exercises. Let us identify whether the given equation is a polynomial function. And if it is a polynomial function, let us classify what type of function is it. Number 1, f of x is equal to 3x cubed minus 5. Is this a polynomial function? Yes. What type? A cubic function. Number 2, f of x is equal to 6 minus 5x. Is this a polynomial function? Yes. What type? Linear function. Number 3, f of x is equal to 8x squared plus x minus 9. Yes, a polynomial function and a quadratic function. f of x is equal to negative 4. Yes, and this is a constant function. f of x is equal to x cubed plus 2x raised to 4 minus 5. Yes, this is also a polynomial function and a quartic function. f of x is equal to 6 minus 5x minus x squared. This is a polynomial function and a quadratic function. 7. f of x is equal to 3 square root of x plus 8x squared plus x cubed. This is not a polynomial function. Why? Because if you are going to observe the first term of the given polynomial, the variable x is written under the radical sign. If we're going to rewrite this into another form, this is the same as 3x raised to 1 half. Therefore, the exponent of the variable x is a fraction, and that makes it not a polynomial function. Number 8, f of x is equal to 7x squared plus 9 over x. This is also not a polynomial function. Why? Because the last term of the polynomial, 9 over x, if you are going to observe the variable, it is written in the denominator. And if we're going to rewrite 9 over x into another form, that is the same as 9x raised to negative 1. And therefore, the exponent is negative. That makes it not a polynomial function. I hope you were able to get it all correct. Thank you for watching and learning with me. Please subscribe, like, and share my video.